So I just arrived to the salon, y'all. Got some new inventory. I'm going to show you guys the new inventory. Hey, hey, hey. So we're going to start off by showing off the new inventory. This is gifty.org platinum blonde HD lace front. Sorry, no, no. This is gifty.org platinum blonde transparent lace frontal wig. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Next up, we have our deep wave curly lace closure wig this texture is literally so bomb the perfect ringlet curl pattern that you literally put water in and you're able to go this curl is popping and it is a hd lace wig the next unit we have it is a 26 inch four bundles hd lace wig this wig is about to be popping so freaking popping this is how the hair looks right now and guess what i did to this hair y'all guess what i did i colored it yep i did i colored it and the color turned out popping <laughs> I colored it and it turned out amazing um but this is the hair before it got colored it was a beautiful four bundles of 26 inch raw indian hair y'all with the hd frontal yes now trying on the blonde hair i fell in love with this hair so much it is also three bundles of 20 um, inches transparent frontal now we're moving on showing around the salon um, I'm gonna get started on the customization process. I just showed you guys the inventory that came. Now it's time to actually get into the customization of the inventory. To start off, hello everybody. My name is Gifty Hairs and I am the gift to your hair. In this video, we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you how to customize and let's do that. I'm using 30 Developer and the Quick Blue Bleach. I applied the Quick Blue Bleach into a mixing bowl. I prefer to use a flat spatula when working with um, lace. I'm going to create a consistent thick batter base with the mix because i don't want my hair to seep through right now you can see that the batter is liquidy when it's too liquidy this is going to seep through the lace and actually affect the knots to turn it to orange you know sometimes you see that orange kind of effect on your hair is because the formula or the batter that you mix is too watery so for us to work with that you have to go back in and add some more bleach powder onto the mix that you currently have the consistency that you're looking for is a very thick batter like like you're basically bake making cake very thick so that once you apply it onto the lace it doesn't seep through to cause the lace to become overly orange like the consistency is like that when you throw it over it gets that thick batter, okay, compared to it being too liquidy. And the liquidy effect is going to make the knots turn orange and not the beautiful color that you want. Again, I like to use a spatula, a literally a flat surface tool that is going to have me spread the bleach the bleach mix together, I like to spread it on using a um, coloring brush, has little tiny holes through the lace and the brush is gonna go, it's gonna be easier for the brush to go through the lace because of the little tiny holes and really mess up your hair. So to avoid that, I like to use a flat spatula or a flat tool and literally spread it onto um, the lace. Now, this is the T right here. I always color correct or tune out my laces after bleaching them. To get that perfect, like perfect bleach knots, I always color correct. And the toner I use for today is the Willis Charm um, toner. After getting the tuner mixed together, I'm going to now proceed on working on the blonde hair. The blonde hair knots does need to be bleached so i go over i bleach the knots with the same batter using the 30 developer and the quick blue bleach now i'm gonna wash out the bleach off the hair using lukewarm water just to make sure everything is off the hair moving on i am gonna wash out the bleach 
off of the curly wig this is the curly wig i applied the toner onto it so now i'm gonna wash off the toner not the bleach the toner so now i'm going to actually tune over the entire blonde hair i tuned the roots of the blonde hair now i'm tuning the entire blonde hair so i'm working on multiple things at the same time i'm tuning the blonde hair i tuned the curly closure wig and then also i bleached the black wigs knots so right now i'm completing the tuning process of the blonde wig every single time i get done bleaching i tone down that orange ugly undertone that the bleach leaves so the toner i use is the same wellness charm ash blonde toner that i'm using for the blonde hair for both curly and body wave hair after bleaching you always want to tone to take out discoloration brassy undertones and just that ugly orange look that we don't want once you tone the hair it's gonna leave a very clean clear kind of look that's why i use the willis charm toner in the ash blonde to give it like a clear blonde kind of look to the roots right so this is the black hair um i got done bleaching the black hair now i'm actually adding color to the hair to add color to the hair i did volume 30 and just some bleach i did a beautiful chocolate brown color to the wig and i added some honey caramel colors streaks throughout the entire hair as well um this is how the wig looks afterwards y'all this was the black wig you remember the black faux wig this is what this this was the same wig but basically that was my day at work being a hairstylist it is a amazing thing you do have to manage your time very very well you will be doing multiple things at once so just pay attention to detail when you're doing hair thank you so much for watching a day in the life of being a hairstylist i am the gift to your hair and i'll see you beautiful people tomorrow for another video bye